No one would say that Terryville is a diverse community. 95% of the population is white. At first we figured it's very difficult to talk about diversity in our town. However, after brainstorming, we figured that we won't talk about how diverse our town is, but how to make it more diverse. Lack of diversity has led to an increase of prejudices in the community. I don't think too much diversity is good at all. I'm very comfortable with the amount of minorities in this town. Over the past school year, we as a company have sought to bring this issue to light and impact change in every way we can. We realize the way to get people to move to our town is to improve the overall look of it. Right now we're going over to Ms. Matuzak's room. We're going to ask her a couple of questions about the beautification committee. Um, we plan on asking her about how her committee, which funds them, has helped them in their process to beautify our town and how she feels about that. And then we're also going to ask her what we could do to further the beautification efforts and on our part in the town. That we've helped to clean up the water wheel area. Uh, it was actually a brownfield, which is um, an area in any town that may be contaminated due to past use. So the site had to be cleaned up, we had to bring in new fill, uh, and also just beautify it in general. We got the okay from Principal Falcone to host the diversity fair in the school, where we would showcase all of the different cultures in our town. A few days after we sent out the letter to Mayor Festa, Mr. Maslak told us that we got a voicemail from the mayor. We tried to recontact the mayor, but through leaving messages back and forth, we still couldn't get a hold of him. So guys, I have some bad news. This isn't gonna happen. It's uh, it's too much that needs to get done in the next three weeks. So we ran out of time for the project, kind of just trying to find out what to do next. We're not really sure to get it done in time for the expo, but whatever we get done, it's done. After learning there was no possibility to host a fair, we found out the language department was having a gathering and doing exactly what we planned in the beginning. We want to make language come alive and to see the importance of having language. We are not isolated anymore with the internet. We can talk to somebody in Spain or in France or in Germany just by the stroke of a button on a computer. And in this way, food, as I said, is the great equalizer. It brings people together. And that's why we all do it, we care. We want to make languages at the forefront. Great. That's awesome. I believe it. I mean, Finally, we got the mayor in to get his opinion of our project and how to further our efforts. Since I've been in the mayor, we've had seven different people that have brought the top country and said great things to this community because they like the smallness of it. They like the country feeling, but they like the people that they've met that scene. 